the first one you said. Thank you respect, right? Um, I don't. I, Bible is not my book, and I'm not knowledgeable about the Bible like you are. But I have read the context of the statements people are claiming, referring to certain uh, claims of divinity. You said, Jesus said, I am the Father of one. Now I would like you to really understand this in context. Okay. When he said I am the Father of one, you understand that to be I am the Father of one divinity, isn't it? One, oneness in divinity. Because that's what he means in one God. And that's probably one of the reasons why you know they wanted to stone him. Right. That's exactly why right. they put him on the cross. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not because of that in the cross, but they wanted the Jews, to stone him. The Jews understood. Um, actually, the Jews understood that when he made that claim, the, when, when the Jews understood that when he made that claim, he was claiming equality to show with God. God's love. And that's why they called for him to be crucified. That's why he hung on a cross and Is this died from the context? for our sins. Is this from the context? Now that's why he died on the cross. Andy. Now do you accept he died on the cross? Andy? Do you accept he died on the cross? Andy, Andy, listen. Please. No, hang on. Do you accept he died on the Andy, cross? Andy, listen. Before I answer that, no, before I answer it, Remember, the question we're addressing is, in context, are you actually trying to understand the, the code text of divinity in context or not? The text where Jesus says, I am the Father, my friend, Andy, please, you, you say, be, be, be just and fair, right? You say, no, 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 you're doing a lot of talking, no, no, you're no, guiding no. this conversation, okay. right? Tell me when you're finished, now and I'd like to return to the subject. Now On the context of, I am the Father, I want, expound this a bit more from the context. Now, let me tell you, right, without preaching, please, that Jesus Christ repeated again, and again. He would suffer, he would die, and he would rise again. Luke chapter 9, Luke chapter 18, Luke chapter 24, just, just to sum up, all right? He would suffer, he would die, he would rise again. Now you say, now you, you say, you tell me that you believe he's a prophet. You believe he's a prophet. I'm not going to move to a different discussion about do you believe he was crucified? Do you believe he's a prophet? Do you believe he dies on the cross? The discussion is about and Understanding your claims in context. Remember, we started with the Holy Spirit. In the very beginning, you believe he's a prophet. The resurrection of Jesus. Do you believe? I started by saying, now. "I'm answering." This is I already, the first time I'm asking you a question. And I started from the very beginning. If you remember the conversation, and as I introduced myself, I said, "I believe Jesus Christ is a prophet and a mighty messenger of God." Right. So I've given you that, given the answer already. Do you believe his prophecies? Um, do you want to continue the subject at hand, or are you going to talk about his prophecies? Do you believe his prophecies? Um, is it difficult for you to? Understand this minute. Shall I tell you why? Because we need to clarify. And that he said he would suffer, he would die, he would rise again. We were discussing Andy. Now I have this conversation with people, Andy, and they say that he's a great prophet, but they're not willing. But they're not willing. They're not willing to accept the prophecies that he gave. So I can't accept that you believe he is a great prophet. Interesting, interesting argument, isn't it? Because I. I, I I can see I can see a problem with this issue, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Absolutely. We will discuss this only once we have covered the subject matter that we're discussing. It is only fair and uh, I, I'm going to have to go now. I know, I know, I know. Literally, my, my time is gone. My friend. I have to get back for a meeting now. Uh, shall I walk with you? I can record in the camera. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm going back to West Kilburn. Let's go to West Kilburn with you. Okay. Let's record and talk. Now I have a whole team with me that I'm leading. I can talk. I can so, talk at the same so time. I'm going to gather so, my team up. Excuse me, my friend. And we're going to, oh, we're going to this go. is, this is, listen. I asked you about the context. I'll tell you the context since you perhaps missed it. Jesus Christ says, just later in John, just as I and the Father are one, I pray that you, my disciples, will all also be one with us. I and the Father, Father and me, you will also be all in us. So, if Jesus and the Father being one means one in divinity, then all the disciples, they're also one in divinity. That's the context. Because he says, just as I am the Father, are one. Look at his qualifications. He explained, remember I said earlier on, I am the Father one, he says, just as I am the Father one, whichever way you understood it, you understood it to be divinity. Now it's a problem for you. Because no, 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 in no, this no. way, the disciples, you will also be one with us. So now you have a lot of people in the divinity. But if you believed instead, this oneness was referring to a purpose, then the disciples are all one in purpose, which makes sense in context. This is the opinion that I understand. Right? right? This is the contextual understanding. Secondly, you talked about Jesus Christ, I am, right? You talked about I am. You don't realize that Jesus Christ, when he talks about this, what was the context? He answered it when they were accusing him. 
He refers to the people. Isn't it written on your scripture? And he's quoting Psalms 82, verse 6, precisely. God says, ye are gods, you are gods. And say the scripture cannot be broken. And I only said, I am Ben Elyon, the son of God. So even if what you believe Jesus Christ called himself God, which he didn't, he says, I only said, I am Ben Elyon, son of God. There are lots of some. But that's the Trinity. Um, my friend, this is the text. He's not quoting from Psalm. Where is he quoting from? He's not quoting from Psalm. Where is he quoting from? Now, I hear him. Sam's in. No, my friend. Sorry. You seem to be someone who is. Um, quite knowledgeable in the subject and yet these simple things now I, I, I really know. do have to go yeah there you go. Going going this is the last one there you go I'm going back to West Kilburn. Psalms 82 look I have said you are God and all you future of the most high you know where I like that did it yeah because it doesn't refer to actual divinity the judges are called gods do you think if a judge comes along and says I am God he's coming blaspheming no, not according to this. You have the book of John. You have the book of John in your hand. Can yeah. you explain to me as a Christian? Yeah. Thirteen, John thirteen three. Explain to me as a Christian what John thirteen three yeah. says. Okay, okay. Do you know the verse? Now, now. Do you know the verse? When you come to John seven thirteen three. When you come to John seven thirteen, yeah, right. Talking about the Holy Spirit. Well, Holy Spirit coming in John sixteen and then in John seventeen. It does present a remarkable thing that perhaps you haven't considered, and that is that when God's Holy Spirit comes in, the Holy Spirit is not God. That's what we are. Establishing right? the, Holy Spirit, Look, the Holy Spirit is not God as we established because the Holy Spirit doesn't know the hour. When he comes Andy, into a person's all that we discussed, all that we discussed, it didn't actually benefit each of us. We have union with Christ. My friend, we have union with Christ. Did I not tell you the Holy Spirit is ignorant of the hour, and yet you believe the Holy Spirit is God? With an imperfect, no, I'm going to take them away with me. With an imperfect attribute of knowledge, you claim the Holy Spirit to be God, and you said any being, any person who has imperfect attribute is not God. According to your own definition, your own criteria, the Holy Spirit does not know everything, imperfect in the knowledge. And yet somehow you persist on believing he's God regardless of the scripture. So your belief is not based on scripture, it's based on someone tells you what to believe, right? That, that's your view. That's welcome your view. Yeah, yeah you're, you're welcome to your view. That's clearly you're what you are demonstrating. That's, that's you're welcome point. to your view. Remember the Paraclete passage where, where Jesus said, as we were discussing, I don't know, my view could be wrong, but what we yes, yeah, exactly. But what we exactly. established is this: when the when Jesus is going to send this Spirit of Truth, yeah. he shall not speak of his own. Whatever he hears, he shall speak. This thing that is going to come, this person, yeah, yeah. cannot speak of his own accord. Right. Can God speak of his own accord? Yes. Does this thing speak of his own accord? Um, the answer is no. But um, there are different roles to play. Within our marriage, my wife has a different role to me. It doesn't mean she's less than me or I demean her in any way. But we do have different roles to play. Now, all the way through the Bible, and particularly picking up from Ephesians and places like that, we always see God the Father in action, God the Son in action, God the, Son, God the Holy Spirit in action. I don't. Right? I no, don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. And I've given you some because reasons already. For, you're looking for something different. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to engage now, with you in a now, reasonable discussion. Now, instead of now, doing that, you are saying, you don't have, inside you, I can hear this whispering inside your heart. You don't have the Holy Spirit in you. You're about to tell it. Your friend did tell me that. You don't have the Holy Spirit in you. But the Holy Spirit is in dispute. Who is the Holy Spirit? What is it? The God Holy is Spirit is an ignorant thing. Doesn't know the future. That's blasphemy. Now that, you're blaspheming now. You are blaspheming. Excuse me. I have pardon. not blasphemed Muhammad. How is that blasphemy? But you are blaspheming. Tell me how is it blasphemy? Because you are blaspheming telling the Holy Spirit. About, about, about the Holy Spirit. How is now, that, that blaspheming? Is, that, is, that is serious. Because you made an accusation. Right? You're making an accusation. Excuse me. Because no, you made an no, accusation. I'm, no, I'm not. Tell me I'm what. Not gonna continue. Why? No. I'm not going to continue. Fair enough. But you made I an accusation. Very upset. I am very upset. I'm upset with you being playing. Ever try to denigrate He's only talking. your have I, how have I done that? Sure, sir, my sir, friend Andy, how sir, have I done that? Sir. How have now, I now blasphemed you, the Holy Spirit? Because Tell me. the Holy Spirit lives within my heart mm -hmm. okay. to make Jesus Christ He's very real. He comes to show yeah, but how have I blasphemed the things of Christ? How have I insulted your Holy Spirit? Because you have said, you have said 
that he is equal to God's word. So he's Isn't that what the Bible says? No. Man may justify okay. himself. No. But God if I say no. I am the only human yeah, being on planet Earth, Earth. No, I know you're never going to finish this conversation. I'm going to finish this conversation. Take him, Andy, Andy, in another time, in a reasonable manner, we will discuss. Because obviously the discussion is not going reasonably. The discussion is touching from your side emotionally. And when, when emotion comes in, you can't have a reasonable discussion. Right? I have no reason to be emotional. It's your book. Your book tells us, and which I read, that only the Father knows the, about the hour. Not the Son, not, not, and not, not, no one knows. Yet somehow, for some reason, you read that to me. The Son knows because he must be God. And you know very well, the Son cannot be God, as I mentioned to you again and again earlier, earlier on. The Son is ignorant of the hour, and yet you believe that he's God. Even though he's ignorant, he can be God. Even though he's ignorant. When when Thomas if someone doesn't know the other, are they ignorant or knowledgeable? Well, that's the thing. They're aware of it, but they don't know when. I suppose, I suppose they Shall know. Shall we read it what it says? Because you have to go. Thank you very much. I'm going to continue with the gentleman here. When he says about...